even in the sapping, humid heat of a Louisiana summer, the infamous parades party on. This one in a poor neighborhood still deeply scarred by Katrina. This right here is New Orleans life being lived, the pumping heart of the city, people who've been through it all just doing their thing. Well, we're the type of people, we don't let nothing get us down. Behind pretty much every face, though, there is inevitably a painful reality. But down there where I live at, it's, it's just like Katrina happened yesterday. On the porch of the house where they took refuge when Katrina struck, these ladies are remembering the events of that awful day. They came and told us that, uh, that water was coming from way back of town. Y'all better leave here, you know. And how can you leave if you ain't had no way to go? No buses wasn't running and nothing else. Well, a lot of promises were made after Katrina, weren't they? And do you think no. they've lived up to them? No. That's why too many people not coming back to New Orleans. In the Jermaine neighborhood, they say the choir of St. Augustine Church kept the people together in a time when the hurricane ripped communities apart. The church is the proverbial pillar upon which the community of Treme stands. But the congregation is not what it was. Many of those who fled before or immediately after Katrina never came back. I have had parishioners who have moved away as far as um, Colorado and Oklahoma. And um, some I don't even know where they are. Some people, you go in other parts, well, they'll just show you the water lines on their house. But I couldn't show you a water line because it was no house. <laughs> Instead, all it was a porch. This is what Hurricane Katrina did to Jason Freeman's home. It's like somebody dropped an atomic bomb on it. It was nothing salvageable. After years of effort and borrowing, he has rebuilt his house. But where once there were neighbors, now only grass. In his block of 20 houses, just three remain. And they had more houses on this block than they had on our block. So that had to be at least about 30, and there's only one out of 30. Something's wrong with this picture. You know, who, who do you blame? The blame, we got enough blame to go around, you know, from the local level to the state level to the national level. <laughs> Tradition, faith, and sheer spirit are finding a way through these bad times. But there's no doubt the new generations are growing up in a changed city where resilience and a certain resignation frame their world. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, New Orleans.